Welcome back, guys. Uh, after a long time, I'm also I'm again, once again, I'm uh, recording another video lecture for you. We have started uh, uh, vitamins chapter, and uh, we have studied some uh, two or three vitamins. So before proceeding to vitamins, I just uh, I just saw one topic here uh, that is about the diet and nutrition. Uh, if you if any one of you want to be a dietitian in future so this video lecture may be good for you definitely so this video lecture will also be available in urdu language and it will be recorded in my another channel that is dr hafiz sultan academy which is solely for urdu speaking students and this channel is now being placed for english language only so uh, today's topic include some of the basic nutrition terms like uh, dri E A R E L U L N R D A. So we'll discuss this before I discuss this with you. I would like to uh, sh share my screen first. So okay. Here we go. Right. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the the diagram in front of you contains some uh, group of people. There are a lot of people in your city. And all of these people, they need some kind of nutrients to sustain their life. You know, we, I, every one of us, we need food, nutrition to sustain our life, to have a good life. So... What is mentioned here in front of this in red, that is they need nutrients. All of what they need nutrients in suitable amount. I would like to uh, tell you something about this suitable amount. Suitable amount is just to tell that whatever food, whatever nutrition, whatever we eat cannot be eaten in, uh, in quantity uh, that is either very less or very high amount. So whatever nutrition nutrient we are going to take in must be proper amount. If you take this proper amount, suitable amount, then you will be having a good proper health. So that's why uh, for a person to have a, a optimum health, optimum health, they need the decision of a dietitian. And a dietitian is expert in determining the suitable amount of any nutrient for a particular person. So, here is the first term, DRI, dietary reference intake. This is not a single list, but these are, uh, it is a collection of many lists. That is why there are DRIs, there is S at the end, dietary reference intakes. What are these references. If you see uh, for any nutrient that you want to take, there is an estimate, there is an estimate, a guess amount. Estimate, a guess amount, that if I take something, some vitamin, suppose this is just something very important, nutrient A, A is nutrient, and if you just make a guess that if this uh, is taken in this particular amount, so this guess will be dietary reference intake. And these estimates are used to determine a good plan for a healthy life. Suppose I want to have a healthy life. I, I want to, to make a plan. I want to assess which quantity is required. So I will definitely go for dietary reference intake. DIRIs. Every person who wants to have a, a health, he or she will refer to these reference intakes. So what is the definition? Estimates or it is the amount of the nutrients used to what? To plan and assess. If you are having, you are going to plan a diet in future for health, so you will come, you will come to the dietary reference intakes. So why these are important, DRIs? Why these are important? This will ensure 
to make a diet a good diet plan for healthy people so if someone want to be healthy so you need a plan so you get this this plan from dietary reference intake now what are what are other lists in uh, below this dietary reference intake that, 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 that are the part of dietary reference intake so in the upcoming uh, uh, pages and slides whatever values you see these are all the part of dietary reference intake so we'll shift to our first dietary reference intake estimated average requirement this is the first one what is estimated average requirement e a r it's not e a r just e a r years for every nutrient whether you have a b c different nutrients that are required for your body there can be a value there can be an estimated amount that if it is taken that if it is sufficient for 50% of the population then that amount will be called estimated average requirement i would like to give you an example suppose suppose you want to check the estimated quantity of nutrient a and you don't know that what is the estimated quantity for this you have you will have to go for experiment you will uh, take 600 people 6000 people whatever suppose we have a group of people here 1 2 3 4 5 suppose four could be 100 four could be 1000 i'm ju just giving you an example these four these four people are 100% of the population so it's a population 100% population four people it may be 4000 fine now i will start giving them a particular amount of the nutrient a to these people suppose i start from 2 gram when i started giving them 2 gram i realized that only 1% out of 4 means only 25% of the population got health but others other population could not get this percent this kind of health means they they were deficient in this so 2 gram cannot be regarded as an estimated average requirement so we'll reject 2 gram then what then we go slightly up we we'll go 2.6 gram and while doing this when we reach to 2.6 gram or let's suppose 2.9 gram 2.9 gram when when we gave 2.9 gram to all of this population we realized that out of four two person got optimum health so this means that 50% of the population is now okay 50% of the population will be okay if the nutrient a is supplied in 2.9 gram so this 2.9 gram will be called year this is year for a for nutrient a similarly you can go you can check you can determine the year for b as well you can determine the year for c as well and you can determine the year for any other nutrient as well okay so this was year so now you just memorize just 2.9 gram in your head i would like to show you something more now there is another term recommended dietary allowance rda now what is rda it is the standard deviation above the year so if you know year what will be rda if we increase the value of year above means two units above in a standard way suppose we had a 2.9 gram if we deviate from it means we can deviate as 3. gram 3 gram 3.0 gram 
or we can deviate a little bit more two units 3.1 gram so if you deviate from the ear in the upper upper level not below you, you you will not come below the ear in the upper level if you deviate two units in a standard way then this 3.1 gram will be called r da recommended dietary allowance now the previous one was just an estimate it was an estimate this is recommendation means now now you will take this in 2.9 grams is recommended so there will be no harm if you take this at 2.9 gram so if there is rda for a you will be having rda for b c d f and every other nutrients you can go for now we have another thing that is ai sometime the experimental data is not sufficient to determine the air value sorry the rda value especially the rda value rda value okay sometime in some cases the rda value cannot be determined but we need it because the the nutrient is essential and we need the value so we need some value so what we will do in this case, we will have a substitute term, another term instead of RDA, that is AI. AI stands for adequate intake. Now, what is adequate intake? This is actually based on the observed or experimentally determined approximation. Approx, you just make an approximation from the experiment or any observed value of the nutrients. I would like to give you an example. Definitely I will give an example. Example is the infants. Infant, you know, you can't, experimental data cannot be sufficient in case of infants. For individuals, you can go for experiment, you can get a lot of data, you can feed them with whatever. But in case of infants, you want to know who are breastfeeding, you cannot guess directly but you have you will have to make some approximation through mother's breast milk so this is the breast milk and if you want to check uh, the amount of nutrient for the infant you will have to go through the breast milk you will make an estimate from the milk that if this milk is given three times daily suppose for uh, three times daily for 20 minutes for 30 minutes for 10 minutes then this infant could get 90 percent or 98 percent health from this so this this is just an estimate look infants child uh, infants health also need concern also need attention infants also need proper quantity of the nutrient so we need to determine the values for them as well just like we we determine the values for ourselves infants require these value for themselves so in case of infant infants then we we make values and those values will be called the AI. Whatever value here you 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 say, if milk is given, uh, if 10 ml, 50 ml milk is given to the infant, then whatever quantity you just make an estimate, this will be called AI in this case. So AI is a substitute for RDA. If you cannot determine RDA, then you will go for AI. If you can determine RDA, then there is no need to go to AI. Okay, now the last term we have is the upper limit values, that is UL. Uh, do you remember that we had the value, the year value for A was 2.9? This was just the year value. And then we set the RDA value for A. The RDA value was 3.1 gram, right? 
It was a question. Can we go a little bit further from that value? Means can we go 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, 3.5 gram? Can we increase this? Can we take this A uh, above 3.1 gram? Means beyond 3.1 gram, 3.2. The question is yes. We will make another experiment. We will increase this amount from 3.1 to 3.3 gram and then check is there any harm on the health? Is there any problem on the health? If not, we will go further, we will further increase from uh, 3.3, we will go to 3.7 and we will check that still there is no harm. There still there is no issue. So it's okay. And finally, suppose we realize that at 3.9, we saw that it, it, causes some harm to health. So this 3.9 gram will not be considered as upper limit. The, th the, the, the value just below 3.9, 3.8 will be called as upper limit. Because at 3.8, you can go maximum. You can take 3.8 gram maximum without any harm. If you just step one, if you just go one step up, you will feel harm. You will see, you will realize there's a harm. So this 3.8 gram will, will be called the upper limit. So for any fact, for any nutrient, either it is A, B, C, or D, you can have these values. And these values are very crucial, very essential for proper health. This is my uh, Facebook page, Medical Lectures by Dr. Radhi. You can have a lot of lectures of biochemistry especially biochemistry on this channel you can go and subscribe to this channel you can watch a lot of videos on this i hope this video help a lot next video will be definitely the uh, about vitamins vitamin d vitamin e vitamin k yeah we have started some of these vitamin series i will, I will try to complete this uh, stuff inshallah in future so have a good day for now thank you bye bye